Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are previewing the upcoming CAF FIFA World Cup qualifier. Third round, second leg. It's Morocco host DR Congo. Stadium where this is played in Morocco. The Prince Abdullah Stadium does not feature in the virtual red patch that I use. But there is a generic national team stadium that looks like a pretty good facsimile. So that's where we'll be for the sake of the preview. So you'll have a similar look and feel, but... At the uh, authentic stadium, if you will. Looks like we got rain in Morocco here. Both sides about ready to exit the tunnel. As they take their places on the pitch, let's take another look around at our stand in for the Prince Abdullah Stadium in Morocco before we pause for the national anthem. Rainy evening in Morocco. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. For the Moroccans, they'll end up in a 4 2 3 1. El Arabi of Olympiacos up top, and Nezri of Sevilla on the left. Hakeem Ziak from Chelsea. The attacking midfield spot, Tarapt of Benfica, and Harit of Marseille in central midfield, and Bono from Sevilla in net. The players to watch for Morocco. For Congo, the DR Congo, they have a 4 2 3 1. Cedric Bakambu up top's your man to watch. Uh, he's a teammate of Harit on Marseille and Ligue 1. Let's look at our CAF Umbro Neo Pro Ball under the boot of Yusuf and Nezri. Yusuf El Arabi, pardon me. We got two Yusufs. And we are underway in Morocco. Abdul Hamid sends it around Hakim Ziyech. Possessed. Cedric Bacambu of Marseille. He is the man to watch on the DR Congo. Koku in that attack in midfield spot sends it back. Gula over to Ikoko pushing forward. Nicolo, DR Congo, really patient build here. Koku. He's dispossessed. Harit of Morocco and Cedric Pakambu of DR Congo. Again, our teammates on Olympique Marseille and Ligue 1 in the French League. Cabano, Hoku, out to Masuaku. Clear El Arabi of the Greek giant Olympiakos. Bono, Sevilla keeper. He's got no pressure from DR Congo, so we'll play out of the back here. Let's not forget of all the players I named, but didn't mention Ashraf Hakimi. PSG, arguably one of the 
well, the best, I wouldn't say right back, I'd say the best right wing back in the world, for my money, certainly. He likes to get forward in the attack. He's doing just here. I don't want to leave him out. He's probably the best of all of them. Cedric Bacambu in behind, one on one with Bono, but he sends it wide. That's going to bring it in for the first half. Two sides nodded in a stalemate at the half on a rainy night in Morocco. Take a look at our halftime stats. So, shot from Bacambu right at the end there was the only one of the half. Not much else to say about it. A lot of. Uh, Play between the boxes, a lot of being stuck in the midfield. Pierre Congo have been really patient trying to get into the box, but have been unsuccessful. Morocco, in my normal style of attack, 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 it's been throwing it forward. It's not as I can, and it's not working for me either. So, both sides probably need to look at some tactical adjustments here in the second half. Create some opportunities to get forward and create chances. No pressure for DR Congo. Cedric McCambu did that right at the end of the first half. The first 4A behind the back line for either side. This one, and he's off target of his shot to trapped of Benfica. Dispossessed. In misery of Sevilla. He loses possession. Poku, he takes a shot from a distance, so. DR Congo, the side that looked uh, more up to it in the second half here. Got three shots now, and still, despite all this attack and talent, Morocco still no shots to show for it. Sevilla, but it is intercepted, and we've got another foul called here. Referee's seen enough from Zufadal. Free kick, Kakuta stands over it. Wall knocks it down. Your Congo is still threatening. I'm sure, if Zia got a piece of that, doesn't look like it. So, again, no pressure from Dr. Congo. This is one of those matches. 
DR Congo with four shots, Morocco with one. And Morocco are up one nil. This is one of those where who finishes this way? It's probably not fair. Life isn't fair. Issa Benezri off the mark here. Five minutes of stoppage time. DR Congo. They're setting up, looking forward to Dakambu. Looking for that last chance to equalize, and that may have just passed him by here. Yusuf El Arabi, he's offside, but I think that's going to bring an end to this one. Robbie kicks things off. Bakambu gets the first attempt in stoppage time of the first half. The Marseille man puts it wide. 59th minute. Impoku, the attacking midfielder, takes a whack at it, sends it wide. 64th minute. Here's your goal. DR Congo win possession. El Arabi wins it back in the attacking third. Into the top corner. Far post. 1 0 to Morocco. It's not a very good angle for what happened there. Other than the ball hit the back of the net. Kakuta. Nice opportunity here. Wall knocks it down. 82nd minute, Yusuf in Nazri of Sevilla. He gets behind, sends it wide, puts his face in his hands. And that's it for this one from Morocco. If you enjoy the video, please give it a like. If there's a picture you'd like to see me play, you can leave it in the comments. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to my channel for more. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.